Okay, so this is going to be a quick review on the Thor H2 laser. I got it from laserpointerstore.com for about a year ago. Uh, back then it was $109 and right now it's $119, so it's $10 more. Um, so I ordered it with, I ordered with this uh, case and it comes with um, this battery charger. That's it. But one thing you need to buy with the laser is the um, laser goggle, of course. So they sell um, the laser goggles in the website itself, but those are just red tinted plastic. I not I'm not gonna advise you to buy those. I, it's like fifteen dollars. I'd rather spend like forty or fifty dollars for a proper pair of um, laser goggles with a. Uh, rating and certification uh, Okay, mine is uh, Audi 6 uh, Rating right here, so I bought it from Aliexpress. So yeah different store from the laser itself So the case comes with it just a laser right here and I just modified it That's a little bit so it fits uh, 626 650 batteries and um, This is how I will most carry it with like six 26650 and a pair of goggles right here glasses yeah like that so yeah let me see the uh, take a look at the laser itself okay so here's the laser itself and I have to say the machining is not the best quality there's a lot of sharp edges especially on the tail cap um, when you try to screw this out or in it will uh, this edge right here those one right here will actually hurt you just a little bit also the same thing with uh, this heat sink right here it's pretty sharp uh, so yeah it's not the best machining work um, this one you you can twist the cap for uh, focusing and uh, burning which I will be doing in just a few minutes yeah and this right here will if I insert a battery it will tell you how much uh, battery you has you have left so there's three dots right here and this one is the power button the first click will be turning on to a low power mode the second one is a full power and the three is the third one is a strobe yeah and it fits yeah as I mentioned 226650 right here uh, yeah so we're gonna try to uh, burn something with this okay and the battery that I'm going to be using is the uh, Panasonic uh, 26650 A, 5000 milliamps uh, hour, and with a button top right here, two of them. Uh, one thing you can do is uh, you can untwist the tail cap so the battery the battery doesn't make a connection. So when you screw it in, you will see this three um, lights right here will show up. So I did do a live commentary in the bathroom, but the echo is so much, you can't figure out anything that I said. So I mean, right now I'm showing the focusing mechanic and how loud the noise is. I'm gonna let you hear it. You can hear it. Yeah, so the screw is not the best. So I'll try to deal with it. The first one I'm gonna be burning is the match. And you can see it light up instantly. Then I tried to burn this matchstick, but sadly it doesn't catch on fire. And the next one is the cardboard that I ripped from a cereal box. It's quite a thick paper. It's smoking again, but it doesn't light up on fire. It only leaves like a black line on it. Yeah. There we go. You can see it doesn't catch on fire. The, uh, the third thing is the piece of paper. And this is, uh, I didn't color it black. So it doesn't do anything, as you can see. 
it doesn't even smoke as well. And the final thing is the candle. And I was really surprised by this, that it's able to light a match, uh, light a candle, sorry. There we go. And then I take a Sharpie and color the paper black right here, a little black dot. And then I try to burn it this time. And this time it's working. As you can see, it's light up on fire. And the next one is going to be a beam shot. And I didn't bother to do a live commentary because it's raining. So yeah, here I am right now. So the laser itself, it's actually goes a little bit more purple than this. Uh, as you can see, I'm demonstrating the three mode of the laser. The first one is the low power, high power, and then the strobe, as you can see. And now I'm going to compare it with the Jet Laser PLE Mini, 520 nanometers. And this is me playing with the focusing mechanic. As you can see, the laser beam is a rectangle shape. And that's going to be all of it for this review. If you have any questions, just feel free to leave it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching.